Everybody got me so far. Understand this concept, right? So go a bit further here. How do we break this thing down? You're going to get a 20% commission because we acquire customers as well. Does every company need customers? Yes. Would you agree? Fantastic. Who should be the first customer? Yourself. Anything you acquire, we talked about doing $120. Your, I want you to say this. Your ID number will produce $120 in volume. Did I say you have to spend $120? No. 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 You're going to open up a store. Your store is going to do $120 in revenue. Can other people do that in your store? Absolutely. Can you do it yourself? <coughs> Absolutely. So here's the idea. Anything over that 120, you're going to get a 20% commission. Kickback rebate. How do people want rebates? How do people really from New York want a kickback? <laughs> <laughs> kickbacks are good. That makes sense to everybody. These are legal kickbacks. March matters. 30 days only. March is over. Almost. But it's not yet. Does that make sense to everybody? Almost over. So you still got time. If you have the ability to acquire 15 customers, right? A total of 1,500 points, maintain them for 60 days on the healthiest thing that ever come into the house, you make a thousand dollar bonus plus 20% 20 20 commission. Is that all right, everybody? Yeah. Who is going to run it for that, that, that March Madness? Raise your hand for 30 points. Does that make sense to everybody? All day long. I got to cover my team. I got to roll over a thousand points. This is not a game. All day, every day. So, here's the idea. Here's how this actually works out from a compensation plan perspective. Let's say you went out and you got, maybe it didn't happen overnight, but you got $1,500 in points and volume running through your organization. Everybody with me so far? Right? So here's what happens. You're going to make, if I can get this right, you're going to get paid on a different level. Let's say if you invite three people to our company, they did the same exact thing. Well, you're going to make 20% of 1500 and 300 Does that make sense to everybody? Everybody with me so far? If you have your level one, and we're going to show you how to build a team, I need you to appreciate this concept right here. Let me slow down and pause for a hot second. This right here is the equation for creating wealth. Every person who I know who's wealthy did it in some way, shape, or form like this. It's called leveraging. How do people understand? Because most of them say, that's a pyramid. Let me help you out. How do you understand? This is McDonald's Corporation. They allow other people to invest a million dollars and they get a percentage of what those people do. Raise your hand if that's how franchises work. That right there, all the dollar franchises are on their first level. Is Duncan, does Duncan Donuts do the same thing? Does the real estate broker have real estate agents? Absolutely, they understand that. Does the real estate investor have multiple properties? Does the church have a congregation? When the congregation comes, they donate, they tithe. Does that make sense to everybody? The more people in the church, the congregation, the more money the church makes. You can ask yourself, do you understand how love is created? Where's your love is created? Or is it just you? Trying to get a raise, trying to get another job. You've got to leverage yourself. Does that make sense to everybody? It's outward to distribution. So, now that we got that set up, this is the equation for us. Understand this. Now, if three people who are coming to go public, they allow other people to find three concepts. Level one, three people, you're going to make 5%. That's $225 you'll make every single month off these three people. Now here's what you got to understand. You said that's not a lot of money. But right there, $525, that will pay most people's car notes. Everybody understand where I'm going so far? Yes. How many people move for $525 that will pay your car note? Some of y'all are lying. I see what some of y'all drove up here today. You two car notes for some of y'all. <laughs> Would that help? Does that make sense to everybody? Yeah. Now you gotta keep that in mind. It's the concept. Here's the way you gotta think. How many, how many hours in your job do you have to make? Work to make 525. This is passive income. What if those three people did the same exact thing? On level two, you now have nine people. We're gonna pay you another five percent. That's six hundred seventy-five dollars in that level alone. That's twelve hundred dollars. That's just for three people who did the same thing with three people. Are you guys with me so far? How many people would that help with the mortgage and rent? All day long. This is the concept you need to understand. And it's passive income. So a little further. What if we went three levels down and 27 people did the same exact thing? We now pay you 5%. That's $2,000 on that level. When you add those numbers up, that's $3,225. How many people have $3,000 take care of their watch every day? Life would be different. You need to understand this concept, ladies and gentlemen. There are people that I know have worked for 20 years and retired and don't make $3,000 a month after 20 years of work. Am 
I right or wrong? Right. right. Absolutely so. Now you've got to back that out the way. Hopefully that makes some sense. The position we talk about power building. Investment. They might say my investment. Right. My investment. How do you get a return on my investment? It's very simple. You can do it slowly by doing customers. Customers create residual. Power builders move it faster. Other outlets. Well, if you choose those three people when they come in, they're going to be able to make $307 right off the gate. Everybody got that so far. So when I look at this business, I say, how much this, how you evaluate this? How much money do I have to put out, and how quickly can I get it back? Everybody with me so far? If I walk into my partner here, I said, listen, I'd like to borrow $300. He said, what am I getting back? He said, everybody, how do you the first thing you ask somebody when you lend them money? When am I getting it back? Does this make sense to everybody? All day long. You should appreciate that concept. We can do that within a week. That's the most important question that you want to understand. You know who you're talking to. Five people, five, twelve. The bottom line is let's not stop at three. How many people, just think about this, how many people do you know that probably have access to $300? I ask if you have, do you have access to it? How do you understand that every person that you know has access to $300? A homeless man in New York City on 42nd Street can find a way to raise $300 in a couple of weeks. This is New York. How many of you ever seen it? They run around with a cup, they run to the train station playing something, they're playing the, 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 the buckets, whatever they do. True, yes or no? So, how is a 